so uh, now you have decided about your domain name and you have decided what you want to do with your uh, website now it's about creating your website developing your website so what should be the options before you you would like to go for a designer or you would like to do it yourself and of course there are pros and cons of all of these now if you are a self starter you may like to do it yourself and if you have a certain skill set and you can do some concentration you can do it yourself but of course there are number of factors about five factors which you need to consider for example what would be the cost of developing that superb website and what would be the complexity of that website how much time it would take and of course what would be the cost of customization and finally about maintenance and updating that website so you need to consider all of these factors when you have to decide about different routes which you can take of uh, developing that website and what are those routes uh, routes uh, not as in r o o t s but as r o u t e s that route could be uh, you do it yourself and of course there are tools available uh, which can help you do this or you can use a content management system or of course uh, you can hire or engage a professional now remember one thing that the five aspects which i have just described to you you need to consider and prioritize those five aspects which are important to you and you have to assign weights to those uh, aspects and then you decide what is the right path for you so let's dive into more details uh now this this is one questionnaire uh, it, this survey was done and you can see the 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 link uh, at the bottom the survey was uh, when you as a customer uh, go for a local uh, purchase a locally uh, web presence company then what is the importance you associate with that local website of the website of the local business so now you are sitting at the other side of the table so there are four responses you can see over here and as you can see over here is that about uh, 36% which is quite a large number 36% of the people they say that they are of course uh, influenced by a good website and there's only uh, 5% which you can read over there uh, they are not significantly influenced if it is uh, if it not a good website so the point i'm trying to make over here is that uh, having a business presence on the internet does counts and of course uh, the further analysis which, which which is available over here was that a website which attracts more people in a certain age group it has to be smart and clean and for a certain age group young generation uh, 18 to 34 they go for a website which has aesthetics and women go for a website which is there for a uh, business in their neighborhood so the point is that it is important and critical that you have a website for your small business and it should be drawing the customers so what are your choices so one choice is the site builder site builder uh, it's a simple like uh, like for example wix like wix so uh, you can go there you can drag and drop and uh, you can select certain themes and you can have your website running and uh, it's not very expensive and uh, it doesn't require any any special skills the other option is wordpress now wordpress is kind of a global leader uh, in this domain of the websites and it is free you can download wordpress for free and you can customize it and there are many many themes and there are many many add-ons and it offers lot of flexibility and of course uh, you don't have to have too much knowledge of html to uh, make that excellent website and then is the professional designer 
Now remember one thing, uh, I'll come to cPanel, that uh, if you don't have the time, but you have the resources, then you can engage a professional designer. And unless that professional designer owes you something, is your friend, that is going to cost money. And that money can be from few hundred dollars to tens of thousands of US dollars. But then sometimes it is worth the investment because they can create a professional looking website for you which has all the ingredients, which has all the facilities, which has all the features which you uh, were looking for. Okay. And then is the cPanel. cPanel, uh, it, is, uh, it is a dashboard on your hosting server and it provides a lot of features and flexibility which I will briefly go through at the last slide. So this is the comparison of the site builder versus the WordPress and versus the professional website designer. And you can see over here that the hosting is often included over here. There is certain price associated with it. And for example, if you look at the website design, it is pre-built over here. You can have custom design. Of course, advanced features are not available there. So you see, it's a, it's a choice between uh, what is critical to you, what is important to you, and how much time you are going to spend, you are willing to spend, how much time you have, and how much resources you have. And of course, uh, customer support varies. It is, it is for this professional design. So you see, it, you have these, these features and you have these facilities. And now just a brief overview of cPanel. So in, in my personal experience, uh, I, I have found certain features of cPanel which are good. And for example, over here, that integrated webmail, you can create your own uh, email addresses specific to your domain name, support at uh, data2bi.com, uh, help at data2bi.com, and, and, and the list goes on. And of course, there is the backup facility also. You can take a backup of your website. In case the application crashes, you can bring it up. There is database connectivity also. And, but the, the disadvantages and the downsides is that cPanel is not free. Unlike uh, WebPress, it's not free. There are certain uh, fees associated with it. It is commercial. And the other thing is that you need to have a fair amount of HTML standing, understanding so that you can customize the default uh, web pages which are there and uh, it is not recommended cPanel is not recommended for uh, very large uh, websites so these are some of the advantages and disadvantages of using the cPanel so it's up to you as I stat uh, stated in the, in, in the beginning that you have to decide which, uh, which option suits you so that's all I have in this module